Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 223. Name the cancers that would lead to an increase in parathyroid hormone-related proteins. The cancers that would lead to an increase in parathyroid hormone-related proteins include squamous cell lung carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma, and breast cancer. What is the effect of this increase in parathyroid hormone-related protein? The increase in parathyroid hormone-related protein will lead to hypercalcemia. Name some cancers that would lead to an increase in calcitriol. The cancers that can cause an increase in calcitriol includes Hodgkin's lymphoma and some non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. What is the effect of increase in calcitriol? An increase in calcitriol will lead to hypercalcemia. Name all the cancers that would lead to an increase in erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is increased in cancers such as renal cell carcinoma, hemangioblastoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, and pheochromocytoma. What is the effect of increase in erythropoietin? An increase in erythropoietin will lead to polycythemia. In which cancer would there be formation of antibodies against the presynaptic calcium channels at the neuromuscular junction? The cancer that causes antibodies formation against presynaptic calcium channels at the neuromuscular junction is the small cell lung carcinoma. Name the syndrome that is characterized by antibodies against presynaptic calcium channels at the neuromuscular junction. The name of this syndrome is Lambert-Eaton syndrome in which there is muscle weakness. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.